Hello, ah, ladies good morning. and gentlemen. Oh. Oh, Wait. we both want to oh. do the intro. Ooh, okay. I thought I was doing it, but go ahead. I go ahead. I... I'm not going to take oh, your spot. Inflict, please, please, after you. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CCG Esports CS. Uh, another, not a CSGO event, I was about to say that, but a CS2 matchup. We just are coming off of another victory on Monday, and currently CCG are sitting with a three-win streak. Of course, this is Inflict joining you, joining you guys back, but this time around, I have a different person with me. WX fan, it's been a while, my friend, since we last came on together on the screen. How are we doing? And doing fantastic. It's a pleasure to cast with you as always. And we're going to waste no time with things as the players have all connected in here into the server. Inflict, we're going to head right on over to the lineup page. And we can talk about a little bit about, you know, the rosters. We can talk a little bit about here what's going on. So your CCG Esports team, no surprise. Floor Idiot, Chinchilla, Casper, Corrin, and Trip, 3-0 this season. We've been following them along. The US starters for Team DNA are Oaken. I don't, I, we might need to figure out how to pronounce that other second person's name. Edibu, Maoni, and Tarlis, and U.S. substitutes Onyx, Zell, and well, AK yeah. Beast. I'd say we have Chippy, we have K1, Edwu, Tarius, and Oaken. Yeah, that, that sounds about it. But on so the other hand... Learn? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. But yeah. the interesting thing here in Flick, why don't you go ahead and talk about this a bit, is... The team DNA technically are one and two this season, but that one win's a little interesting. Tell us about it. Yeah, I, I was. We were looking at their previous stats from the season, and there isn't exactly a win, uh, a match registered in the stats as a win uh, with their scores and everything. So it might have just been a forfeit win. So theoretically speaking, both of the matches that uh, Team DNA have played so far, they have actually lost. One was on Ancient, one was on Anubis, and hence their only win comes off of a forfeit. So in in a way, they has, are yet to have an actual win in the season. Uh, uh, but nonetheless, uh, a win at least. But now we're moving on to a, a new map, a new story potentially on for Team DNA as they've already found a couple of frags to work with. Jay and Jinjilla has answered back, but it's a two versus, uh, it's a three versus four for the retake. And yes, Edibu over here towards the left side of Silos. Just one player left and it was Chinchilla and that was a very fast play. Something unique here is uh, it was an A-site take through hut. Not something we typically see. A lot of people like to go ramp or sometimes outside. A nice change of pace to see a, a, a hut pop. And it's going to be one nothing in favor of Team Dini to get things started. And as you all know, this is a CT-sided map. But in Flick, you know, I've, I've mentioned this with TW. I've mentioned this with you last season. CT side of economy right now with oh, this yeah. current meta is very difficult. So you definitely want to try winning at least the conversion. You see the force buy coming out from CCG. No real supply surprise here in Flex. Yeah, CCG throwing sort of a curveball. Team DNA might not be expecting, and considering the fact that CCG were not able to get as many kills, and of course the bomb got planted, so that that was a boost to the D economy as well. So they have full rifles to work with. Meanwhile, that's not the same case for CCG. A couple of pistol upgrades, a couple of MP9s, and only one scout to fight long range. Other than that, CCG are might be in trouble if they decide to take the fights head on or towards outside. But for the time being, it seems like uh, it's not going to come down to that. A lot of presence early on over towards Hut, and it seems like all five are getting stacked over in there. Uh, we might actually see a flank from number three from the side of CCG later down the line as he's pushed up ramps this time. Uh, so as soon as yeah. the execution comes out, we might actually be looking for a bench from CCG. Just look at how CCG you're playing. Oh my god! Poor idiot with the triple! Gets the quad a triple with a 5-7. That's why you force by, but Floor Idiot better count his blessings and count his lucky stars is more what I mean. What a couple of headshots. Uh, Inflict, this will be the part where Face It tells us over at the bottom left, exclamation point, report to report a teammate. Can someone, like, report in, uh, Floor Idiot for being too damn good? I, I doubt their teammates would, <laughs> would want to report him for that. <laughs> maybe, maybe the opposing team, but not not teammates at least. But again, 
Uh, I was mentioning this to Tucker on Monday that 5.7 is actually a top 5 weapon for me and Floridi just proved me right. It, it really is if uh, given in the right hands. But now uh, it's Steam DNA on the back foot. Treb going to kick this round off already by taking K1 out and the Tech 9s and Deagles are all that's left with a couple of flashes to work with on the side of the T side. They have forced into this one as well. They're looking to replicate the success that CCG had on their force by, but it's just not the same case as JJ Chinchilla no. finds another. The 5.7 is so good, but now you have the short range reference of the MP9s doing a lot of damage here. And again, you're gonna see Chinchilla just continue to farm away here. Already two kills with the MP9, Corin. And another play, I've already found these AKs as well, and Galil's been picked up as well. Tarlis now is just in a really tough position, just hanging out Ooh. lobby. Able to take out Chinchilla, but 44 seconds on the clock, and he's about to be pincered. These two players coming up for the trophy. Casper just jumps and shoots, and nicely done. Beautiful triple kill, and a lot of that money farmed. See, and $600 a kill with the MP9. Look at the money now on the MP. 5,500 and over 5,000 for Casper. For Chinchilla. And it was absolutely well done by coming out here. And you still see the MP9. Didn't need to throw it away. Save the I money. Mean, yeah, it's finding value. So why why, why throw it out? I mean, it's gotten like four frags for him, JJ Chinchilla so far. But. CCG already off to a really great start. It seems like the D's want to go for a rather aggressive play. Uh, never mind, it was only one player he gave, and he's already hit uh, Wentz, but mm, he's gotten a headshot uh, in return from the side of Trip as well. Jcasper all by himself has too many to deal with, possibly, but got two before eventually falling to the hands of Edbo. And now Edbo has retrieved that singular MP9 on the map. Uh, the nade can further position him awkwardly, but now there's help oil for Trip to work with. And and a rather clean round from CCG. They're off to a real strong start. Yeah, not much really the team DNA could do there. You know, the the momentum was really pivotal from Florida's triple kill in round number two to win that conversion round on the fourth by. But, you know, they all had Glocks for team DNA. It was a rush towards Ram trying to make something, something happen, take a couple of kills away. But again, another triple kill there from the ramp player in CCG up three to one, but now CCG are gonna have to go up against this proper rifle round here, as much as you can call it a proper rifle round with a couple of deals out. And Chinchilla literally zero Fs given, he's gonna go straight to the smoke. He aims a little bit more left, he's gonna get that kill. Head boo over here towards squeak in. Interesting here is we don't see a lot from Team DNA. Two players still back and spawn at a minute 28 on the clock. Now grouped up, probably see some utility back from that position. Not that they were AFK. There it is. You see all the small L smokes oh, no. coming out as Oakin's able to take out Corin towards Garage. Jay Casper, though, here with that nade. Can't find a couple, wow. and Casper will. I love the new smoke dynamics, and you can blow them up with an HE. Casper gets an easy double and found the info that someone else was there. Casper's got three. He's on for the he's on for the ace at this point. But still That's so the... far outside. Carlos. Casper's got four. Gets the quad kill. Poor idiot qu uh, cleans up Ed Boo and it's four to one. And this is the CCG that we see are just so confident. This is why they're three and zero this season in Flick. Absolutely. The, the discipline that we're witnessing from CCG today, it's absolutely immaculate. I mean, look at uh, look at with the fights that they've taken, except that Corin peak uh, through the smoke. That was a rather ballsy play, but uh, and it could have worked out had he gotten a kill and gotten away with it. And that really had a chance to have worked out in his favor. But other than that, all of the fights that we've seen uh, have mostly been players taking two versus ones, or at least playing for each other's trades. Uh, Jay Casper, you back... Uh, Except him though, of course, Corrin died this, this round. He had to play this, that rather confidently, but he did uh, play that really well as well. He played that completely disciplined. He had a passive position, used the nade smoke me mechanism in his favor, uh, had took those fights, found the perfect timing from a safe place, and hence worked off of that. But now it's once again Team DNA in a world of trouble. A bloodbath commencing zero on the A bomb site. 
Floor Idiot finds a couple and nicely done. Able to save the rest of the round there. Things could have gone a little bit iffy there, but it was nicely done. Floor Idiot to clean it up. A triple, I believe that is for Casper, the purple player here. And Inflict, I gotta tell you, CCG keep this up. Their, uh, their future is looking pretty bright here in advance this season. Oh, yeah. This is probably going to be the best start if they win this match. Uh, that CCG have had so far, at least uh, in the last three seasons that I have been around for. So CCG, a real promising start. I'm not entirely sure if this, it's something that they've worked on in the off season or if it's the single roster change that they've made. But whatever they did, it seems to have working. Um, it seems to be working out for them. They just need to keep on improving upon it. Yep. Also, we want to give our. Oh my goodness, Floor Idiot, very nice, nice kill. On to Ed Boo. Want to give a spread, want to give a shout out to our amazing producer Apcon. So shout out to Apcon, and I always want to thank Apcon for giving us sound in Discord. So thank you to Apcon. And Floor Idiot is just—he's the boss of lobby. I can't believe I'm saying that, but he is just—he's holding hut wonderfully, and now pushing into lobby, trying to change things up. Team DNA are in massive trouble yet again. Hey, Inflict, do you realize this was a this was a rifle round for Team DNA? It didn't feel like it. That's that's a really good point. All of them just were speaking out individually. They had it seemed like they had no idea what they wanted out of this map, um, and they're just just blindly hoping that CCG provides them with a kill instead of them actually going out to look for it and get it themselves. They're relying on CCG making absolute blunders for them to find yeah. success, but but a very much necessary time on being called in uh, while they're down 6-1. I think this is the time they need to turn things around because otherwise uh, <laughs> otherwise this could turn into a double-digit game for CCG in the first half. Double-digit game indeed. The way CCG look is just absolutely outstanding right now. They are playing on top of their game, but it's also one thing to keep in mind. You can't get too overconfident as we see the full Tech 9 buy come out and the amount of utility here. Just look at all of the flashbangs. There's like seven of them. So Inflict, take us away. This is round number eight. Well, either they're looking to fake quite a lot to, uh, to work something out and approach the other side, or maybe maybe they want to go real aggressive and sort of the in your face kind of a, of a tactic coming out from the side of team dna is right now and well a lot of futility already invested over towards outside no real progress made on the map just yet but as soon as the smokes drop down they're looking to make some behind it and now that they're they've they've started to make ccg question here a little bit and that's exactly what they're they are doing what they wanted they want to make ccg question but corin a perfect frag through the smoke the timing absolutely phenomenal and in a blink of an eye all of the players of team dna have fallen all the big big brain for nothing well credit goes to team dna for trying to make something happen I mean, I I get it, but it was just nice kill from court on the outside, and then just the A site players, man, are just right now on their game. Also, something fun to point out: Team DNA have not tried taking B once. It was the one rampage. That's it. They have not tried taking B once. Well, at least fully executing on the B. B is lonely. B could use a hug. Someone hug the I mean B bomb site. Maybe it's just the CCG have actually not allowed them to because Jake Asper has been playing up close uh, or towards Ram uh, yeah, against trip, them. He's, he's two or three. Yeah. Trips board towards Ram. Give him some company. Go. Oh my goodness! Even some of the CCG fans in chat are throwing shade at this game. Uh, I'm not gonna call out this person's name, but someone says, "Are up there." Says, are we sure this is a fancy? This looks pretty crazy to them. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Shots fired. Sports fans. Uh, Trip finally getting involved here. Finally getting involved. Able to take out two, and it is ramp control in favor of Team D. Chippy. Floor idiot going behind. Chinchilla is just looking down at vents, waiting for something to happen. It's shiny. I get it. Good floor idiot. Oh, look, look at it. Okay, well, a two versus three, smoke out. I'm not going to sure if it has been heard by anybody, but the bomb plant surely will be. Nice bomb plant. 
It'll be Oaken versus Chinchilla in event. Chippy versus Floor Idiot only doing what's rampant. Oh, are you, how, how did Floor Idiot win that? Where is well, my replay when I need it? How does Floor Idiot win that duel? Have a replay in your mind. Watch it again. Oh, wow, how good TV jump in your mind. That was so but, pretty. Yeah, already so absolutely popping off, and I mean everybody on the CCG side are doing their part really well. See, Florida currently is sitting on a 13 KD, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Asper on a three himself. The rest don't have as impressive KD ratios, but they're doing their job and they're doing it really well to support both of those absolute maniacs on the map right now. Uh, CCG, well, their fans are sh shooting shots in the chat, but they are doing them doing so themselves in the server, and it's working out real well. Well, they're up 8-1, looking to increase that number by one more, as two more players have fallen for DNA, leaving only three behind. A lot of utility eliminated from the equation alongside those players, and now, once again, Team DNA just sort of puzzled about how exactly can they approach this further. Grip's got one, Chinchilla's coming up, now just hanging out secret. Charles is like, what do we have to do? Like, we're not gonna, they're not getting any space whatsoever. Also, shout out to the heroic stickers on that slate AK that actually looks really nice. I have some heroic stickers, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember what stickers I have. I haven't played in a while. I had five phase ones, quite a few of them. I had a bunch of stickers I'm saving. You know, one thing, one thing I bought was uh, the, the Dust U souvenir kits from the Rio Major. Uh -huh. I'm just, that I'm just stacking them and just, I'm, yeah, I'm just stacking them and holding on to them, letting them increase in value considering Business Dust man no longer, right here. Yeah, that's doing no longer on the competitive map pool. Skins will get rare. People like opening souvenir stuff, so I'll hold on to those. I opened a lot of Paris Major stickers. Nothing good mm -hmm. came out of it. <laughs> yeah, Another a tragedy. Yep, another timeout call from Team DNA. One thing that's interesting to note and flick, I cast for um, Exemplify in the main division. Advanced this season only has two timeouts per side. Main have three. That's interesting. That interesting. Okay. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure why, why that is, but... Until your guess I is think... as good as mine. Yeah, I think if it's super signed, I think that's more than sufficient, quite honestly. Just look at this. Floor Idiot's 13 and 1. Jay Casper's 14 and 5. Floor Idiot has only died once. That was the pistol round. I think. That was the round they lost, yeah. You make sure Floor Idiot lives, you win the round. My goodness. And corin has got one. It is a vent it's a vent drop. Chinchilla's gonna quickly pursue. And Chirpy's ready for it, and Oaken okay. <laughs> takes out his teammate by accident. No! That is not what you want to see if you team DNA. Oaken's gonna go uh, meet up with the rest of his crew. Ed Boo over towards Squeaky. And Oaken is the only one to drop here and flick. Is now he rotate they rotate back up through secret. He may have a flank killer too. It's going to be up to Oaken to group up with the rest of his team. Minute, four seconds left on the clock. This might be the most promising round that Team DNA have had after the pistol. As yep. Florida is now cornered and slowly being taken out down to 3 HP. Doesn't have any help whatsoever. So Florida now it's has down fallen. Or idiot has fallen. I, I... Um, oh, chat. Um, hello, I don't know if this thing's on, but, uh, Floor Idiot's fallen, that means Team DNA might actually have a chance. Um, so if you're a Team Our DNA really? fan, uh, hold on, because it's gonna be Oaken versus two players over here towards Heaven. Oh, tries getting that one that's gonna fall. And now as I back off the mic, so no one can shut their computers off! Casper picks things up and, um, um, chat, we need to, we need to have a little, little talk. Um, just because Floor Idiot falls doesn't mean that CCG isn't gonna win the round! Yeah, a change of strategy here. Floridian go kill is not what the IGL said, but 
Well, Florida is the ideal. So what exactly is going on right now? I'm not entirely sure, but but double digits secured for CCG. You were already only you, you eleven rounds in. Several rounds yeah. ago, in Flint, you called it several rounds ago. That's the way they're looking. They might secure double digits I'm in the first half. Brain. <laughs> I'm either that big a brain or I'm really lucky today. I'm gonna have to go get a lottery to get it tested out, but Trip already off to a great start yet again. That's one more player that the first fallen or left in the final round of the first half. Trip. Literally Oaken was zoomed in on it. New trip was there, got it, and Trip gets the opening shot up! Just 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 not this is not fair. <laughs> uh, CCG Esports chat is having fun. One person's like, they're biting their nails with how close this is. Another one says close game. I mean, gotta give, uh, gotta give the chat credit. I, I'm, I'm assuming there are CCG fans, but uh, let us know over in chat. Are you rooting for CCG? Are you rooting for Team DNA? We want to hear from you. Ooh. And he is definitely not asking Play. so he can ban if you were Team DNA's fans. Definitely not anybody. asking for that reason. Yeah. Totally not banning anybody. K1 is trying to ban Gorn from this map. They able to get the kill oh. onto him. Oh, nice! Oh. Darius got a little too cheeky there. Sure, he got a few bullets in the But two versus three yet again. I mean, Team DNA, they've found some composure in in the latter half of the first half. They've, they've gotten down to these two versus threes, two versus fours consistently and found map control, but have just not been able to convert rounds behind it. And this is going to be the same case yet again. Darius all by himself, and there's only so much that he realistically could have done. And that's the 11th round on board as we head into the second half. Only two more rounds needed for CCG to close out the map and increase their win streak to a four at the very start of the season. Unbelievable. Just absolutely unbelievable. The precision, the fight, the tenacity. I can't even like, come up with any more adjectives. It's... It, it's... It's not even that. This has been an absolute the domination. Bloodbath. The demolition. The, the it's been a bloodbath. CCG yeah. wins. Now, not apparently, yet. not yet. We apparently not have yet. a lot of Jay Casper fans in chat. They're oh, not Jay. really rooting for any team. They're just rooting for Casper. Jay Casper uh, has been a new addition to the team. He was a substitute uh, formerly for, uh, for CCG Esports, but now he's uh, on the main roster. And the, boy, this man has been impressive. He was the MVP of the very first game this season. Uh, he's continued to impress so far. On Monday, he had a slow game, but he was fulfilling his role very nicely. He helped them make the comeback possible uh, into the game. Uh, but see, he has been absolutely lights out today. CCG, uh, I think this, this roster change has helped them quite a lot but i think it yeah. might have just been jake asper really allowing them all to play more in their play style and hence we see the difference Ooh. one versus three um, um okay chirpy chirpy please chirpy literally wants to win the pistol round here chirpy Oh, he doesn't know where the bomb is. <laughs> okay, there you Trip go. Trip versus Chirpy. Trip is gonna get the kill. No, tri Trip. He had, he got his team back with one left. There's no need to teabag his character. Dude. Having fun like we are. I mean, justified. I mean, when you're winning 12-1, I'd say. I'd say it's justified when you're winning 12-1. Yeah, map and game point for CCG. Oh, inflict, wake me up when it's over. I'm kidding. Alright, have a good night, WX fun. Meanwhile, I'm gonna take <laughs> over. Uh, round 14, inflict, take it away. Alrighty. Uh, well, only SMGs and a couple of shotguns. So maybe that's something that <laughs> that works out <laughs> in Team DNA. Uh, something out of the absolute blue, but not so far. Jay Casper oh. living up to the expectation of his fans in the chat. Another uh, night through the smoke to possibly find another, but not this time. Edbu 
finally putting the shotgun to good use, and now we're down to a four versus four. DCG really taking their time with this one. They just want to hunt down the players, it seems like. Uh, a MAC-10 at that range, Florida, he's feeling confident. It doesn't really matter with the range or the place. He just wants to kill those players out, and Chippy's just barely surviving that, down to 35. Poor idiot wants to run this wants this game over. Yeah. Ooh, he has some shiny stickers on his gun as well. Shiny. I'm not sure which one, but, should, but the shine, that's what matters. As long as it's shiny or RGB, that's what matters, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Oh. Um. What? It seems um, the server technical has... Technical difficulties? Problems. Maybe? Kind of, sort of? Uh, well... Face it, please. It seems the server has frozen or either just ran out of cache memory. Uh, so the the rest of the match did not CCG get CCG was playing too good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can happily say that CCG won 31. <laughs> I don't know what the heck happened in that last round that we got uh, booted. I think the game ended in... Go TV just forgot to like store the wad that was going. I on have no clue. There was a delay. That was just. I have no idea what happened, so we apologize for that echo delay. We have not a clue what happened. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah, we'll see if anyone wants to join us for a post game interview. CCG Esports did win that last round, so they beat Team DNA thirteen to one. Inflict this uh kind of interesting, honestly. If we look back at this from when we started, we talked about this and we're going over the starting rosters one and two for Team DNA, now one and three. They won possibly on a forfeit win. I think Team DNA kind of goes here without saying there's uh there's some work to do, yeah. I mean, Team DNA, uh, I, I wouldn't say there's some work to do. There's, there's a lot of work to do for Team DNA right now. Uh, but uh, it, it's a very start. Of course, you got to start somewhere. CCG didn't exactly have the brightest of the seasons uh, if you go back just three or four. But, but uh, I believe we are going to have somebody joining us for an interview. This time around, it is going to be JJ Chinchilla. So... Uh, that's going to be rather interesting. I was hoping that maybe we could talk to the IGL, but but maybe on another day. But really, I just want to see what the team was feeling like, you know, throughout this game. It was like they were all maybe just having fun. They were, but they were. I'm pretty sure just laughing at that one because at the start they were playing really disciplined, and, it was, and it, that's what got them off to a, the off to the great start. But afterwards, they were just finding kills. They were just uh, sort of still, although disciplined, playing together, playing nicely. Uh, uh, right. But I mean, I, I, realistically, we can only tell what happened once we talk to the players. But before we do so, we are going to be taking a real quick break so we can get prepared for the interview. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. What is up, you wonderful, outstanding people? We are joined by the one, the only, the floofy one, the fluffy one, the cute little chinchilla himself. It's JJ Chinchilla. Um, not so little. Someone in chat says that I think it's uh, Jay Casper may or may not be seven eight. But chinchilla, I guess the first question is first. Do you have chinchillas? Uh, I used to. My beautiful little boy JJ has unfortunately passed, but he lived a long oh. life. But that's why I play. I play for his legacy. Will you be getting any more chinchillas? Potentially, potentially. Okay. I will, will not rule it out in the future. Just a little bit of you know heartache. Will they be named JJ? Uh, maybe JJJ. All right. Get an extra junior in there. Okay. Gotta yeah. get an extra junior in there. there yeah, that, that's justified. But but coming on topic now, today's game, 13-1, you have a four-win streak. I mean, just there's not a lot to talk about the game today. I just want to know how the comp work. Game. <laughs> yeah, uh, comps were a big part of it, actually. That's what I feel like has propelled us with this. Our rotates have gotten better, and we've been you know fleshing out our map pool. 
but being able to actually practice, like apply it to it and get the reps in over and over has really helped. The close games on Anubis happen. Most of those are comms based. We just make a couple mistakes and then people either don't talk when they need to or talk too much or we run the wrong setup or don't adapt in the right way. So just getting more and more match reps, especially with the new fifth, is nice because we got, we got to play with Jay Casper. We didn't get to fully offline with him as much as we have now with having him permanent. And then also we were rotating between having him play for Corn and SRY since our schedules were so busy last season. Right. I but now we have our full five. Yeah, he didn't slot in super like when you were in the playoffs and he was just coming in to really do that spot. He was nowhere near this level of how, part of my language, how freaking good he's been this season to start. So I don't know if it's just you all are playing off each other's strengths. He's in new positions where he's excelling. It's been outstanding to see him thrive and flourish. And we have uh, a lot of Jay Casper fans that apparently literally and chat was throwing shade at the other team and and, and i mean inflict and i tried casting a somewhat uh, yeah, it's kind of hard when it just, the round's over with and then everything slows down for 30 seconds and we close the round out yeah i mean and apparently the the key to your success here i'm sorry inflict was apparently floor idiot uh apparently just not dying was 13 and one at one point yeah, we did a lot of yelling every kill that he got because he was really—he had a, such a good early game and it just set us up so well with money. He's asking to drop people like, yeah, yeah you have eight grand, but can you sell that? Because I have max money. <laughs> Please drop your flash. I need to buy something this round. Would anyone like a pistol? <laughs> just trying to do something useful because we got three people at 16 grand and he hit it first on round like nine. Yeah, um, Florida was up 13-1, and generally speaking, you know, people talk about um, that the IGL says go kill strat, uh, but this time around, Florida did so himself, so I'm not entirely sure. Well, I was actually genuinely confused about what was going on, because Jay Casper, he was popping off, sure, but Florida, we've seen his moments of glory, but 13-1 was something that, that I actually have not witnessed yet, but absolutely lights off to him. But other than that, I mean, you guys are sitting 4-0 and zero so far, you had a one thing I'm really scared of, I'm not going to lie to you, is that the fact you had a good start last season as well, but that didn't end so well. What are what what do you think the end's gonna look like this time around? Uh, we get more games, which we're looking forward to. So we're hoping for a 10-4 at least. If not a little bit better than that, we'd love an 11-3 seed. But the main thing for us is just keep keep on starting strong so we get the Bukol score. We didn't get a great, great Bukol score last season, which didn't matter because of our seed anyway, but we wouldn't have been in playoff contention in the tiebreaker if we did end up playing hard opponents or just throwing a little bit but um Oof. so we're looking for a team one draw actually that's what we really want because they're going to sweep everybody overall people play unconfident against the brazilians or anyone that's for, you know anyone that's moved to, to na with higher level of play in the past and then get slotted into advanced it happened with fury it happened with everyone else but because of boot calls we're looking for a team one draw maybe to beat them but that way we can get a really strong boot calls going in so that we can beat the other north american teams yeah. well there you go um, I have nothing else. Like I said, this game was a bloodbath. We, it was just, it was an absolute it's domination. It's a lot easier on my heart <laughs> when we play that good. Yeah, on my heart as well. Uh, but again, I mean, I'm I'm just really impressed by how you guys have improved so yeah. far in the season, specifically Jay Casper, as as uh, WX fan said. Uh, you know, he he is has been playing absolutely lights out. That's I believe. I, I believe he has MVP in two of the four games, or at least uh, he did, was the MVP in the first one in the rallies. But all of you guys have actually been playing really impressive. I just He's hope MVP in people. all of our hearts. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all there of you, you are. Go. Just please don't throw your games. I, I don't want the heart attack. We're trying to not to. We can <laughs> take the players out of NA, but you can't take the NA out of the players. It doesn't there matter where we go. are. There's always some chance of tossing, and that's because we're a football country, baby. We've got too many people that play football. We, we just love to toss. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not football, but that's another debate. <laughs> Listen, don't get we start talking about football. Um, that's kind of like my other side hobby and yeah, passion. that's that's our that's what we're talking about in between scrims too. Um, okay, so in that case, we all need to get together, and I can tell you about my DraftKings plays for this weekend. Yeah, you trip and uh, Floridi be best friends. Yeah, I'm a fantasy football <laughs> analyst and have been for several years. Um, yeah, y'all definitely. So that's need like to my know. other fun thing on the side. But all I'm saying is, uh, go Lions. Um. It's going to be a ton of fun. More but power what, are we ex <laughs> what are we expecting from you guys next year, Chinchilla? You are 4 0 in the season. Now, if it's if any other ESEA season that I've ever seen in the past is any indication, 
because you're so undefeated, you're going to face the tougher competition. The other teams are either undefeated or three and one or whatever the case is. And you've got a couple of interesting matchups coming up. Is there any matchup currently that you're looking forward to, or is the prep we're all looking forward all? to the regain matchup? Because the first season that we made a main playoffs together, they knocked us out the first round, and then we ended up falling short by one map at the very, very end after making a lower bracket run. So we're looking forward to getting a rematch against them in an official, which we'll play. There I think it's go. next Monday. It might be next Wednesday, but it's definitely one of next weeks. Uh, and then just overall, we like playing better teams. We have advanced uh, playoffs experience now, so we're not really scared of any, especially the NA players. And if we want a team one game, we're not scared of anybody. <laughs> Are you guys finding like, and I'm just going to ask this question just to, we can get kind of something here. Mm -hmm. When you're prepping for a regain or you're prepping for some tougher competition, a team one or whoever, are you looking in your, and changing anything in your prep? Like, are you actively seeking out harder scrims? Are you actively seeking out that harder challenge to prep yourself ahead of time? Uh, we always, you know, look at what maps sh the veto should be if the other team does what's expected and we can force them into one corner or another based on our map pool and how it lines up. But overall, we always try and get as good a scrims as we can get. Sometimes we'll take, you know, an advanced scrim over an ECL scrim if we end up getting them on prac for the first one okay. and then play a, a scrim against an ECL team just to get the warm up and make sure everybody's got everything flowing. But otherwise, yeah, it's just trying to get as much good practice as possible. And thankfully, prac has been really, really good the past, like, f month or so. There's been a lot more teams playing since the player break ended and then at the beginning of it. So there's that little bit of lull in the middle. But even some good teams were playing the days that we did play during our break. So, Excellent. Yeah. And, Flint, and then we don't change do? what we do. That's the yeah. other thing. We just kind of adapt in mid-round and talk about what they should be doing or where people consistently are in terms of how that might impact how we play. But at this point, we're looking to play our game because it's kind of hard to go and implement you know, fully new things. But if there is like an easy yep. CT setup where it's like, oh, I might want to prioritize running this, then it's something that we'll talk about if we see it. Yeah. Huge. Inflict anything else for you before we uh, get us I, out of here? I think that's that's good enough for me. I'm just looking Excellent. for more games now. Chinchilla, yeah. the floor is yours. 30 seconds. Talk to your adoring fans, or I guess apparently Casper's Jay adoring Kaspers, fans yeah. in, in, in chat, which apparently everyone's just here for Jay Casper. Whether or not they have pictures of him all over their, their we'll be forcing walls him in here. and ceilings. The fan club shows up, and they need what they're coming for. So we're going to force him to do an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for that like one. It. But yeah, appreciate everybody for watching. appreciate y'all for casting. It's great seeing the same faces every single time, for the most part, whenever it's possible. So it's always good. Thanks, everybody else, for watching. And thank my team for being the best. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. For AppCon, our amazing producer, for JJ Chinchilla, for the rest of the CCG team, for Influ. I'm WXFan21. Thanks for watching.